In this example, I'm going to show how to use MonoDevelop to create a custom GTK Sharp widget and how to use the widget in uh, your application. What I have here is a very simple contact management uh, application, which has uh, three fields, name, country, and city, and uh, three entries for entering that information. What I'd like to do is to use a more complex widget for entering the country and city which allows me to not only enter type the, the text but also select from from a list so the first thing I'm going to do is to add a new project to my solution it will be uh, a new library so I click on new project and I select new C sharp library it will be my widget library I have to click on the GTK Sharp support um, because in this way MonoDevelop will add all needed uh, references to my new um, project. I also click on uh, widget library option. Okay, this is my new library. I'm going to add a new widget to the library. I click on new widget. This will be my selector. Okay, this is my widget, right now it's blank and uh, I can use the visual designer to to create the, the widget by combining other more simple widgets so I can drop here a box and um, an entry and a combo so this is how my widget will look like um, so let me correct these names something more simple to use in the source code so when the user types some text here uh, um, or the user will be also able to select some some text from the combo box um, this widget will have uh, two properties uh, I'm going to add them in the class of uh, that implements the, the custom widget so the first property will be selection text which will be basically the content of the entry and the other property will be the list of options I will have uh, an array here for this and I'm going to add an, a property for setting the value and when the sal value is set I'm going to update the combo ok and this is another change I have to do if the user selects a new value for the, the combo it has to update the entry so I'm going to bind here the combo change event so when the selection of the combo changes I'm going to update the entry ok and finally I'm going to add the, the public event which will be selection let's call it selection text change and uh, this event will be raised when the selection the text of the combo changes that means binding the change event of the the entry I mean the entry so if the entry changes it's going to raise that event ok so that's all let me compile now let's go back to the main application um, what I want to do now is to use that custom widget in my application and for this I'm going to add uh, I have to add a reference from my main application to the widget library so I click on edit references and I click on the widget library so here it is the reference 
and uh, as you can see in the toolbox I can now see my custom widget so I can just drag and drop it to my window if I go to the properties grid I can see here my properties and set them for example the selection text for the country could be type here the country name some default text and I can also set the options like and I can also set the options for that city selector okay so I can also bind the um, the event I created so I can go to the signals tab and double click on the selection change selection change event and bind here do something like uh, well print just print to the console the value of the of the selector which is my selector one dot selection text okay so that's all let's compile and try it so if I do some change here it is, it is rising the, the event I can see here the, the, the options I, I selected in the designer okay I'm going to do a small change in my selector I would like to add a button for cleaning the, the, the selector so I'm going to add a new placeholder and add a button to it it will be a clean button clear button so when the user clicks on that button it's just going to set an entry string to the entry ok now if I compile um, my solution as you can see the, the window is updated showing the, the new shape of, the, of my custom widget and now if I run my application as you can see there is a new clip it's clearing the contents it's working for both widgets okay so that's all thank you for watching